Hi, friends, and welcome to another edition of Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits. I'm Tyler Miriam, and on this episode, assistant baseball coach at South Dakota State, the one and only Brian Grunsky. Coach G, how are you? I'm good, Tyler. Boy, that's uh, pretty hard to live up to, the one and only. Well, <laughs> let me tell you, when, when, when God made you, he threw the way the mold, okay? I'm really? telling you that right now. Well, that's pr- probably a good thing if you uh, ask probably my wife right now. <laughs> well, it's not just your wife that would say that. But nevertheless, <laughs> gee, uh, hey, you know, let's let's talk about this. You have a, a unique circumstance, and, and Coach Klink has been through this as well. Uh, but oftentimes when a head coach leaves, uh, the assistant coaches go with or, or go their separate ways. And there are a couple of people on staff, as I mentioned, Clink being another with men's basketball, you being one who you worked under Dave Schreg. Uh, Dave Schreg left, took the head coaching job at Butler, and you stayed here at South Dakota State, now working with Rob Bishop on his staff. Walk me through what that's like to uh, stay on staff and why it's been so rewarding for you. Yeah, um, you know, again, uh, like you said, it's a unique situation. Uh, there was, a, I think, a uh, couple things that went into it. Num- number one, uh, you know, I've been to a few different places and uh, in South Dakota State here, not only, you know, the university, but especially in the athletic department had such a family feel to it. And I felt like this is where I belonged. And... Um, the other part of it is uh, I was getting, you know, uh, a little older in my career and I wanted to stay as close as I could to my family. So I was hoping I could stay on board when, uh, you know, Coach Bishop got the job. You brought up your family before. This is such a unique time for all of us. What has this been like for you from a family standpoint, trying to keep up with with your kids and your grandkids? Well, uh, you know, it's been uh, a couple uh, things, Tyler. It's, uh, it's been a, a little bit harder, obviously, because you don't get to see them personally. Uh, but on the other side of it, uh, with me being uh, around a little bit more, uh, we, we FaceTime them. We do those types of things with uh, not only our kids, but our grandkids uh, at least twice a week. And so it gives me an opportunity probably to catch up with them a little bit more than I normally would during a normal year, This, you know, during the spring. How has Mrs. Grunsky handled you being around every day in the spring? Well, you know what? It's, uh, it's a unique situation because <laughs> obviously, you know, uh, doing this for as many years as I have, uh, usually she understands when it gets to be February, I'm, I'm not around uh, very much. And uh we we've had to do some things a little bit differently like uh, we, we make time for each other uh you know we have a dog and so we we take the dog for a walk in the afternoons and we you know talk about more family things and and probably some uh some things that we normally wouldn't have uh addressed uh you know if it was uh during a regular baseball season since i brought him up uh, i would be uh, rude if i didn't allow you the opportunity to introduce this family that we have talked about and who all we're dealing with okay you bet uh my wife dawn um you know and uh and we have she has a dog that she's in love with uh probably more than uh, i think the dog gets away with more than what kids do to be honest with you uh but she we have a dog a little shih tzu and the name's lola and uh you know, uh, so we, we uh, that's how we do our walks. We we make sure we get the dog involved and it gives us a you know reason to go out and walk together and spend some time together. And then the kids and the grandkids. The kids, uh, I have three kids. Uh, my oldest son is Jared. Uh, and he lives in, uh, you know, Four City, Iowa, and he has uh, three kids. Uh, my middle daughter is Jennifer and she lives in Huxley, Iowa, and she has uh, two children and then my youngest one is amanda and she lives in t and she has uh two uh, children as well if you would we talked about this with coach crystal wood uh, a couple of episodes ago with softball because they were on the road in the middle of a long trip in florida when they found out their season had come to a grinding halt you guys were away from home on part of a long road trip getting ready to open up conference play when you guys found out take me back to that day or that couple of days i guess and, and what that experience was like yeah so there was a, obviously it was our spring break and uh, we had uh 
uh, started, uh, you know, basically, I think it was March 4th, we played the Gophers uh, in the U.S. Bank on Wednesday evening, and we pulled back in uh, to Brookings, and then uh, the next day we flew out to Air Force to start our long trip, uh, which, you know, uh, was going to be a 10-day trip and some good competition, and get out there and played the weekend and we went to Kansas state and played Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we were heading to Tulsa, uh, Oklahoma to open up conference with ORU on, on Thursday. And we stopped in Topeka, Kansas, and, um, we got the call and, uh, that we were supposed to, you know, come home. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, kind of, a uh, a real quiet bus ride all the way back. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, things going on. There's a lot of emotion. There was a lot of unknown at that time. And, you know, we didn't have uh, any answers at that time to help any of our guys, you know, to give them answers that they were looking for. So this season of yours comes to an end before you get to conference play and, and not going to have baseball the rest of the year. We don't know what the future is exactly. So take me through what this has been like to keep in touch with the guys and, and how you and, and Coach Bishop and the rest of the staff trying to maintain some sort of normalcy here with your student athletes. Yeah, uh, obviously this is unknown for everybody. Uh, you know, the I think – when you uh, go through times like this, uh, your circle of friends and your family, and obviously we think of our baseball team as family, uh, you got to rely on those people to help you get through it. So I, I know Coach Bishop, uh, he has set up some uh, Zoom uh, meetings with our guys uh, just to talk to them about some things maybe that they need to know or open it up for questions if they have questions. Uh, and then – We'll, uh, you know, text our guys individually or call them individually and just touch base with them, see how they're doing, making sure they're okay, and just try to stay connected with them. You getting stir crazy? <laughs> you know, uh, it's uh, it's not quite so bad when the weather's nice because I just make a point to go out in the afternoon, late in the afternoon, about 3.30 or 4.00, and and do things around my house and the yard uh, and all that. Uh, so uh, the next couple of days, I think I will get stir crazy because the weather's not supposed to be very good here. Well, the other part about it, too, you're a grill master. we got to have some nice weather to get you out on that deck. Well, you know, the last three nights I've done that, uh, uh, or the previous three nights, I should say, I've done that. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a nice, uh, thing to do. It's relaxing when the weather's nice, you can sit out in the deck and you can have your grill and listen to the birds and, uh, all those things. And it, uh, it's, it's kind of a, uh, a peaceful time. Tell me what the meat of choice is on the grill at the Grunsky household. Oh, God, that's a, that's a good question. Um, chicken. Chicken breasts. Okay. And uh, then the old uh, kind of standby is, uh, you know, your burgers and and some brats. How how are we seasoning this chicken? Is this uh, already seasoned or are we getting just the the naked breasts and then doing it ourselves? What are we doing here? Well, uh, I'll be honest. I just cook it. My, my (laughs) my, My wife does all the seasoning. Okay. So she has different uh, seasonings and different, uh, recipes that she uses so it's not the same thing every time with any of the meat we have uh, has some different things so it uh, uh it, it's good well coach g uh i can't believe i'm admitting this but i do miss seeing you it's uh, it's not the same uh to be here at home as opposed to bumping into you around the office and how many times you and i get caught up in meaningless chatter just to stay connected with uh the different sports and and uh and i hope we get back to some sort of normalcy and get to do that in person very soon you know, Tyler, I, I couldn't agree more. I, I just think that uh, with our athletic department, everybody gets to see everybody every day. And, uh, you know, you miss that uh, family atmosphere and and those things. And I'm looking forward to the day when I can uh, walk down to your office and uh, talk to you in your office. No, it'll be, uh, be a lot of fun. Uh, we will uh, certainly look forward to seeing you and Don in the very near future. Thanks, Tyler. I appreciate it. And you too. All right. Brian Grunsky, baseball coach at South Dakota State. I'm Tyler Miriam. Thank you for joining us on our latest edition of Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits.